Hi, this is John Zeller. I'm the Executive Director of Space Advocates, and we're here at the 29th National Space Symposium. NASA isn't here this year. This is the first out of the 29-year history of the National Space Symposium that they have not attended. This is due to issues with sequestration. So we went around and asked about it. Well, I think it's a, it's a pity that NASA is not here at the National Space Symposium. As you mentioned, this is the first time in the 29 years that they've been having, Space Foundation has been having symposium that uh, NASA is not here. And I think it sends a wrong message. The Obama administration, in order to get the American people irritated with the sequester, uh, is going out of the way to make the sequester as damaging as possible. Well, NASA is not here this year uh, because of the dysfunctionality of the U.S. government in our current times. Uh, a, to have, uh, have a government that is so dysfunctional that they can't even uh, attend meetings and do their jobs is, is pretty astounding. Uh, NASA's certainly missed as a part of that community. We, we continue to work with NASA on a day-to-day -day basis as a customer anyway, so none of that's impacted. But the ability to actually get the whole community in one place and, and have meetings where you're uh, able to um, go from the customer's perspective to the supplier's perspectives and, and pull everything together in a very short period of time in one location, um, it, it's, it's a loss not to have them here with us. Uh, they, they thought this would be a good way to save money. There were a couple of other of these kind of gatherings that um, uh, they've bailed out on, and I think it's, it's, it's a bad idea. Uh, most of the other space agencies in the world are here, the industry is here, um, and I think we simply have an environment where it's, uh, it's become toxic to people in government getting their jobs done. Uh, so uh, we certainly hope to uh, see NASA uh, get that corrected and be back here again next year. This is the first time they've not been at this event, and uh, everybody knows that that was a mistake. Any quote-unquote unnecessary travel is being cut out. Uh, so for NASA, that means uh, any non-operational travel that is, you know, mission, su mission support, things like that, uh, is being severely cut back. And so National Space Symposium was one of the uh, things that NASA decided not to support this year. But I think it sends, sends a wrong message, you know, and so I wish NASA had uh, just spent a small, sent a small team here to at least have a presence. Um, what does it mean? Hopefully it's just, this is just one anomaly and, uh, you know, sequestration I know goes over uh, many years, uh, is, you know, lays out many years of, of cuts, but I'm hoping that we'll kind of come back to center. You know, I think that was a reaction to sequestration, the ball's over here and hopefully the pendulum will come back more towards the middle and we'll see NASA back here next year. It's, it's a marketplace of ideas and, and to cut yourself off from that. Surely there, there must be somewhere else at NASA to, to save money besides on travel to these kinds of events. I think, I think it's important for them to be here in person and to put their wares on display. I mean, this is kind of like a, the county fair, so to speak, for, for space. This is one of them. And I think it's important for them to be here. Okay, so frankly, this is simply ridiculous.